Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is super exciting because it is a favorites video! Spirit fingers! Yay! Anyway, this is super exciting. I've never done a favorites video before. Uh, so I decided to combine my June, July, and August favorites, since it's almost September, and do a summer favorites. So, if you are a nosy little bitch like me and want to see what I liked, then keep on watching. Okay, before I start this video, I just want to say, go ahead and pause the video, go get yourself a cocktail, a sub, get your pajamas on, take a shower, take the kids to school, whatever you're doing because this might be a little bit of a long video. Um, I'm not doing any dislikes because I recently did a products that I didn't like video, so I was just like, I don't really have anything for ya. So, these are all of my favorites. This is all stuff that I have bought in these months that I have used, that I have really enjoyed and liked and might become part of my permanent collection, like I might buy it again. So, uh, this isn't going to be anything that you've probably seen before. I mean, you might have seen me wearing it, but I might have not talked about it before. So, that is where I stand. Okay, starting us off is the Charlotte Tilbury Unisex Healthy Glow. This is an all-year hydrating summer tint moisturizer. So, this is basically a tinted moisturizer uh, from Charlotte Tilbury. It does retail for $40, so it's expensive for, like, this little bottle. I think you get... 1.3 fluid ounce, so, hmm, uh, which sucks because I love this. As someone that lives in hot as hell Florida, like my address is literally hot as hell, comma, Florida, then my zip code, this is a godsend. I've never been a huge fan of tinted moisturizers ever. I just don't see the point. I, at least for me, for me, I don't see the point. I feel like if I'm just going to go ahead and put foundation on and do a full face of makeup, I might as well just wear full coverage foundation. I'm not going to waste my time on a tinted moisturizer. But I'm wearing it today and I love it. It goes, it's white. I'll show you guys. And it is grainy feeling. It's kind of gray looking. And you rub it into your skin and it disperses, as you can see. And it, start, it starts to tint your skin. But see how I keep massaging it into the skin and it's just giving my skin an all over glowy sheen. I mean, now you can't even see it, you know what I'm saying? So at first I got really scared because I was like, oh my god, like I'm gonna look orange. Like it started rubbing it in as I showed you guys and it got really brown and I was like, uh, uh, oh, 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 I can't compute. And then I kept rubbing it in and it just tints the face so nicely. It gives you the lightest wash of color and just looks so pretty and it's so just not even there. It, it's so lightweight and just moisturizing. It's not too dewy, um, which I do like because, you know, as an oily skin person, you don't really tend to go for things that are moisturizing and hydrating. So I just, I love this stuff. I think the only little thing that I have like a little... Eh, about is it doesn't have sunscreen in it. If this had sunscreen, I would buy it by the gallon. It's so good. Um, I definitely, I definitely think it's worth the money. I would definitely repurchase this again. It's just such a nice summer product. And if you're someone that doesn't have time to do the whole face routine and blush and bronzer and setting powder and la, if you need something easy, this is easy. Um, Sometimes I don't always have a lot of time to spend on my makeup, you know, I like to get the extra five minutes of sleep before work. I can pull this out of my purse, rub it between my fingers, rub it all over my face, like at a red light, at a red light, okay? So that's why I love this because it can fit in your purse, you can travel with it, it's just, it's easy peasy. If you want to spice it up, you can throw on bronzer, highlighter, some eyeshadow and lips. I love this. We'll keep the glow going. This is the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Sheer Sun Serum Bronzer. There's like a little ball in here. You shake this up. Again, this is beautiful. I love, love, love this. I apply it right to my skin. I just take a little and I just start rubbing it in the contours of my cheeks and around my face. I like that it's a serum. It's extremely sheer and lightweight. Um, as I told you guys with the other one, it can look... Like, see how you're already like, ugh. But once you blend it out, 
it's barely there. And it's giving you, again, that nice wash of color. It's serum. It's liquid. It's just very, very lightweight. You can add this to your foundation. Uh, like, let's say your foundation's a little too light and you got a spray tan and you're, what, instead of going out and buying more foundation that you're only going to use sometime during the year, I would suggest buying this because you can use it as a bronzer, but you can also use it to add a little couple drops to your foundation or moisturizer, and th then you can make this for, like, half the cost. So I love this. Moving on to another bronzer. This is a powder bronzer. Now this is, like, this is a little bougie. This this is a little crazy. Some of y'all are gonna be like, no girl, that's too expensive. But I really like this. This is the Tom Ford bronzing powder in the color 01 gold dust they have other really pretty colors too and they also have a big one of this but that was like 110 dollars and i was like mm, mom's gonna wait to see if she likes it before she buys it so i bought this this is the smaller one and i really really like this so you guys have probably heard the saying all bourbons are whiskeys not all whiskeys are bourbons it's the same thing when you're talking about bronzers and contour powders. All contour powders are bronzers, not all bronzers are contour powders. Meaning that when you contour, it's usually matte, or a sculpting powder is usually matte. Because you wanna chisel out those cheekbones, giving the illusion of a higher cheekbone. You want to, you know, give the illusion of a smaller forehead, a slimmer nose, yada yada. When you use a shimmery bronzer, it defeats the whole purpose. When you have something that reflects light out, it's going to give your your face is just going to look fuller. It's just going to look the same. So the whole reason with contour is that you can use a matte contour powder as a bronzer. You guys have seen I've used my Hula bronzer for a bazillion years now, and that's a matte powder that you can use as a bronzer to kind of bronze and warm up the skin but you can also use it as a contour powder to help like cut the cheeks and you know do the nose and stuff like that well i was on the hunt for a shimmery bronzer and i just heard so many good things about the tom ford formula um i really like it this is such a pretty bronzer i don't know if you guys can see um it's just very light and sheer and shimmery which is actually something you want. You know, with eyeshadows, you don't want something that's sheer and shimmery and patchy and you have to play with. With bronzers, at least for me, you do. Because if you're very fair, you want something that's going to go on really nice and light. But maybe you have a little bit more of a tan, you've been out in the sun a little too long, and now you want to really build it up, and that's what you want. And excuse me. And that's what you get with this. You get something that's just so warm and shiny and shimmery. I love 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 this tom ford bronzer this um is the nyx finishing powder hd it's like a translucent pressed powder and my friend gave me this i was kind of like ah, you know it's a translucent powder you know it's it's gonna be nice but this is like butter oh just feeling it right now is like turning me on and i really like the pressed form i feel sometimes I do have, I get it, I have oily skin, I always am going to need to use a loose, or a loose powder. But this is so nice for touch-ups. I feel like if you can just throw this in your bag with a little brush or powder puff, you can just dot 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 blah blah blot your face to get rid of excess oil. You can really set the face down nice with this. This is so buttery and creamy. I, I just, I love it. And it's cheap. This, and then the next product I'm going to show you, is why I regained my love for NYX. I just, I think this is so great. And it feels just like my Makeup Forever powder, which was like $35. And they also have a pressed one as well. They have a pressed and a loose just like this. And I just, I like this product so much. I think it's such a nice dupe. I mean, it's probably only like $4. You can't beat that, you know? You just can't. I love this. Now, the next product I'm going to show you, this is another NYX product. This is the NYX uh, Studio Photogenic HD Concealer. This is so nice. I'm in the shade CW01 Porcelain. This is the best. This is the best. And again, it's probably only like $4. And you can't, you can't beat that. I always say it's great to find drugstore stuff that works so well and is so nice because... 
when you do, you don't have to feel guilty about using it. Like, you're not like, well, this is my, you know, uh, YSL one. You're like, boop, that's enough concealer. You know, you can really do what you want to do and not feel guilty when it runs out because you're like, well, you know, do I pay my car payment, you know, or get some gas or do I buy my concealer? So that's why I love this. It's just, oh, it's so nice. It blends out like a dream. It really makes you so bright. It's so full coverage. I, I just adore this adore this. I do have an expensive one for it, and this is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is in the shade Light 2 Vanilla. If you're someone that has to have the label or you're just really a big fan or you know you just want to get your points at Sephora or maybe you have a gift card and you want to splurge on something nice for yourself, this is nice. This is a $30 concealer. That the that's a spin. Um, but it's so good. Oh my god. It's it's worth every penny. It's definitely one of those things that is so hyped up on the internet. You're kind of like, oh, you know, I don't know if it's really what I want. It is, honey. Trust me. Trust me. And the great thing about NARS is that NARS has such a big shade range. I know sometimes it's so hard for those dark skin beauties to find stuff that's dark enough for them or is the right skin tone. Like some people are just like, oh, you're dark, here's two shades, you know. But it, it's not always like that, you know. My dark skin could have, you know, a golden undertone. Your dark skin could have a red undertone. So, yeah, it's really different. And I've seen so many people on the internet with like the deepest, darkest, like almost like that blue-black skin. And that just, there's stuff out there that just wouldn't, that, it's too light for them, you know? It's, and it's ridiculous. So I do appreciate that about NARS is that it's very person of color friendly. There's so many different undertones and shades. I think there's like 20 of these concealers and they're just so nice. I used to believe that I could only use the NARS matte concealer. No, that that's not true. You can use this one if you're oily skin. It's, it, you know, I don't, I guess people see, hear the word radiant and they're just like, oh, you know, mm. and, and I did, I'm guilty of it too. Don't think that you're the only one, but you can, and you know, you're not going to look greasy. The wand and just being able to go under, buff it out a little, or, you know, spot conceal like this. You know what I mean? Like, look, it's gone. It's so nice. You guys know, if you've watched my videos, I have used the ABH Brow Definer for a long time. This Goof Proof Brow Pencil by Benefit slays my existence. I died, was resuscitated, woke back up, used it, died again. You know, you get the drift. It's like everything you love about the brow definer because I love Anastasia and they're the queen of brows. You guys know that. They were the first one to kind of come out with that triangular kind of shaped brow pencil but this is like everything you love about the brow definer but better i mean there's small things like the packaging gorgeous amazing you see this you're just like ah shiny um also little things like the part with the product is larger and the part with the spoolie is shorter so I'm never confused on which end to use which I know sounds like a total ridiculous first world problem but it's it's like those little things just make this better and better now the product the product oh, is so good I love this I feel sometimes with the with the brow definer I have to fight a little bit harder and I know it's supposed to give that more natural look but I still feel like I'm fighting so hard and then when I press down hard it it gets really hard and it messes up and I'm just like ah! where this it's like a pomade in a stick form. It goes on really creamy but it's very waxy feeling and just locks your brows into place. I also do like the tip better. I don't know if you guys can see that. But the tip is like a very harsh point and then rounds off to the bottom like a teardrop. Where the brow definer is still kind of like that skinny triangle. And that's great because you have that fat base at the bottom to really get in there and fill. But you also have that really sharp point at the end for you to really drag it out harsh here. Which you can't really do with the brow definer. And to make nice little hair-like strokes in the front as well. So, I mean, I just, I don't know if I'll ever buy the brow definer again. Because this is so, so, so good. I highly recommend this. The only little, like, eh, eh, 
I have about it. It's it's not really like a problem for me, but it's a, it only comes in six shades. I'm in shade number five. So if you are someone that needs that really light blonde pencil or you're someone that needs that auburn pencil, kind of like those whack colors, I would suggest Anastasia. Another great drugstore find are these Milani lip liners. They are the Milani Color Statement Lip Liners. This one is in 03 Nude, and this one is in 09 Spice. Girl! I finally figured out the reason I don't like to wear liquid lips that often when I started using these. I use these like I would wear liquid lipstick. Like, they're just a beautiful matte look. I love them. They glide on so creamy, and that's the craziest part, is that they glide on so creamy, but they last forever. They are locked in, ready to work 14 hours. I love these, and they're so lightweight. I feel like even the best liquid liner, it's st you're still going to put like three coats on. You're still going to put like three coats of liquid lipstick on and, or did I say liquid liner? I'm crazy person. Sorry. Liquid lipstick. You put three, four coats on and it just feels really thick and heavy. They get crusty. They ball up and pill up right here. You're left with like the butthole lips that everyone talks about. I always feel like my lips are so extremely dry and I'm like picking skin off them and then my lips get raw and I, I don't know why I think it's why I st stray away from them but these you can wear like liquid lipsticks and they're so lightweight because they're barely there they're creamy they're locked into place they glide on they're pigmented I'm oh these are so good um of course they make amazing lip liners just look at that oh are you dying? I'm dying. Next lip product I have is the Tardis Lip Paint. This is in the shade Low Key. I also have another one in the shade uh, Birthday Suit that I can't find. It's what I'm wearing today. This is a liquid liner that I do like. I don't know. I just, I love this formula. I, I, I love it. This feels so lightweight. As I was talking with the other ones, you know, sometimes you put layer upon layer and they just feel so thick and sticky and bleh. This is so nice. It goes on pretty pigmented, pretty opaque and full coverage. And it's just so light. Like, I'm feeling it right now. And it feels like nothing. And I swear to you, I put like three coats of this on. I love the Tarte Tardis lip paints. These just look so pretty. These are such a bomb-ass formula. Get this in your life. Okay, my next product is a hair care product. This is the Living Proof um, Perfect Hair Day in Shower Styler. I love this. This is a smaller size, so if you're not quite sure if you like it, I would suggest getting this before you spend all your money and test it out. This is so nice. After you wash your hair and you condition it, you kind of put this in your hair, you let it sit, then you rinse it like halfway out. And when you get out, you let your hair air dry or whatever you need to do, blow dry it, whatever, and it's supposed to leave your hair so nice and just beachy waves, so pretty. I love this product. It smells so good oh my god it's like cracking a bottle love 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 that you guys know i couldn't do a video about no highlighters now <laughs> anyway this is the moon glow uh moonlight cover effects custom enhancer drops i know it's a sample don't judge me um these are the most blinding highlights i've ever used watch as i do one drop didn't even squeeze this thing you see this Holy guacamole. Are you dead? I'm dead. Do you need me to call 911 or something? Because this is amazing. I have it on my cheeks today. It's just such a beautiful blinding highlight. It's so versatile. You can add this to your foundation. You can add this to your moisturizer. You can use it on its own. You can use it as an eyeshadow and it's just blinding. Even the big size one is $42, which sounds hella expensive, but you saw how little I used and how much product I got. So it will last you a lifetime. So it really is worth the money because this is really good. This is the Pixie by, um, Pixie collaboration with Aspie Novard. Sorry, it's like worn away. This is their Glow E powder in the color London Luster. Um, this is one of the best highlights. Look, one swipe back and forth. Girl, look at that. I love it. They have two other colors. They have a darker one and they have a pink one. This is just a beautiful pale yellow gold highlighter um, that anyone with lighter skin tone can use. I love this. $16. Best drugstore highlighter out there, hands down.
Next highlighter I have is the Stila Heaven's Hue Highlighter. It looks really pink in the pan, but it's actually more nude. I just love this highlighter, and I just think it's such a cool concept. I think it's so pretty. You can really get a blinding highlight out of this, but you can also really sheer this out if you want something more demure. Next product I have is a product that is kind of more of like a hygiene product. This is the Listerine Total Care Stain Remover. My mom's friend recommended this to her. So shout out to you, girl, Laura. I see you, girl. Um, this is awesome. I just brush my teeth with this in a little cup. I do it twice, and then I use the rest to gargle, rinse, and spit it out. Holy crap. My teeth look really, really good. I love this stuff. Warning, though, this burns. This burns like a mother. A mother trucker, a mother and a father, a whole family. So be prepared. I thought I knew, like, I was like, eh, you know, it's going to be that harsh Listerine taste. But this burned, burned. My eyes were watering. I had to spit it out after, like, two seconds. So just be aware of that. But it's so good. It's so nice for your teeth. Oh, my goodness. Okay, guys, last but not least, whether you love them or you hate them, this is a damn good palette. I know there's a lot of controversy surrounding Jaclyn and surrounding Morphe, but this is such a nice palette. I think it's just great for everybody. It's great for beginners, for people that don't have a large makeup collection. It's great for people that do have a large makeup collection. Um, you're just getting so much. You're getting warm tones, cool tones. You're getting shimmers. You're getting mattes. You're getting pops of color. You're getting neutrals. You can just do so much with this palette. And you're not going to get this good of quality shadows for this price you know what i mean i just think that it's 150 percent worth it if she was to ever say this is limited edition and it's not coming back in stock i would order two more i'm dead serious you have a gold you have a black you have this beautiful um pool party over here i believe that one that's the one um you have these gorgeous highlights like these two you can use as like highlights on your face. I'm not kidding you. Um, these are them. Like WTF. I just find myself grabbing this palette so much. I never use anything else but this one. Um, except for today. I don't have it on my eyes today. I'm using something else on my eyes today. Hint, hit, nudge, nudge. Um, I just, I, I love this. I love this palette. I think everything about it's great. You can say whatever you want. I think this is 100% worth it. It's great for everybody. And the quality of the shadows is unbelievable. She put so much work into this. And yes, I am a fan of Jaclyn, but I just, I did so much research on this product. And I just think it's so well made. It was the first Morphe palette I ever bought. And I just, I think it's worth the money. Everybody I know that has it, they love it. And it's good stuff. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I had so much fun filming this video. I will definitely try to do more favorites. Let me know if there's anything that you found favorite this month or over the summer, like me. And leave it down in the comments. Uh, tell me if you want to see something or have me demonstrate something in maybe a tutorial. I love you guys so much. Have a blessed afternoon. And I'll see you in my next video. Mwah! Bye, guys.